backdrop to it. This is quite a context for the Sunak Trust struggle. Which offer from those two candidates makes most sense to someone like you, a consumer affairs expert? Uh, you know, they're both very different. Uh, you know, Liz is going straight in for the cutting tax um, and, you know, increasing personal expenditure. And Rishi Sunak is saying that, you know, he, he will cut tax, but only once inflation has sort of gone down a bit. So for me personally, as a consumer, obviously, you know, cutting taxes is something that would really be beneficial to me, myself and many people like mm. me. You know, we all need the extra money at the moment, whether it's to pay our energy bills, pay our mortgages or our rent. Uh, even buying food at the moment, that extra money would really be beneficial. Yeah. But of course, um, you know, we've got to think about the long term implications of that. You know, it's great for us personally, but as a, the economy as a whole, how is that going to impact us? Sure. Well, and specifically on that, I find it personally very interesting that that Sunak criticises trust by warning that if you do what trust does, then there will be worse inflation further down the road. Uh, whereas even one of Truss's economic advisers, Patrick Minford, says if you do what she does, then interest rates were going to rise. I mean, it, it's not a great choice for consumers, is it? No, I mean, ultimately, cutting taxes is a big inflationary measure. It can cause further inflation. Um, not always, but in, you know, circumstances such as this it is likely to increase inflation. Liz Trust, you know, she is swearing down that there will be no inflation as a result of a 30 billion package that she wants to introduce. But that's just not quite, uh, you know, the reality of it. There will be, you know, we have to pay for it somehow. Yeah. And um, it's just going to kind of continue that cycle. And I guess it's one of those things we will never know until it happens for sure. But it is likely that Yes, it will be good for us in the short term, but how are we going to pay for it in the long run? Will inflation just increase again? Will yeah. we really get down to the figure that we want to see, which is around 2%? So yeah. it's it's kind of, there's pros and cons to it. And, you know, in the short term, we want that money in our pockets. But in the long term, is it best for our wallets, really? I, I, brilliant food for thought. That's why I didn't interrupt. I've said what I think and you've just said what you did, clearly. Um, what's your comment on that story on the front page of the Sunday Telegraph about the... Uh, forget prices just for a moment. This is about supply, really. That The energy situation is getting so bad that come the cooler nights and colder days of autumn and winter, energy may be rationed. Yeah. And, you know, what? unfortunately, it, it could be a reality. And, you know, I don't want to add doom and gloom to a time where people are already, you know, struggling, but it, it could be the reality. And, you know, we've seen it before in the past, blackouts. And, you know, there's been times when, you know, energy's completely gone, you mean, cut from the household. Um, and it may actually have to come to that. And, you know, I'm hoping that uh, whoever does come into power will make rapid changes to try and prevent this. Um, but of course, there are outside factors such as the war in Ukraine that have, you know, mm, increased yeah. energy prices and, you know, sort of uh, thrown everything into disarray. And, and unfortunately, it might be something that we do have to plan for and prepare for for yeah. the future for this winter. Final quick one, Isabel, if I may. And the other thing I sense, I mean, not only as someone who reads too many papers than is good for them, but actually just going shopping with the family or, or, or looking around, that they're feeling the squeeze. Retailers are really feeling the squeeze as well. And it seems to me that those lovely bonus offers and are declining very slightly. It's tough out there. Yeah, it's really tough out there for individuals and businesses alike. You know, individuals are cutting back on their spending and... Um, Businesses are losing profit as the result. And it's it's really tough for everyone. I think businesses in particular need some extra support right now, especially smaller businesses. Um, and that's another thing that, you know, I'm hoping that whoever comes into power will really be able to support businesses in this time without, you know, affecting inflation further or, you know, spending too much uh, more. But it's one of those things um, that, you know, um, as your previous guest said, sometimes you can't just throw money at a problem, but sometimes it is what is needed, unfortunately, to keep businesses going and the economy going and keep consumers, you know, fed and clothed and things like that. 